this is basically we've been having a laugh about terrible sales techniques and we've questioned the maturity and education of the people that send these messages and in fact we're quite harsh in a nice way <laughs> um in a nice way um what's the weirdest or most bizarre or hardest sale that you've had in the last well it happens every day last day who's right oh. yeah I get them all the time. And honestly, what I do, how I handle it is people are trying to feed their families. That's the truth. They really are. So I send them a message saying I'm not interested and I wish you good luck because everybody is out there trying to bring food to the table and they're trying very, very hard. So I just say good luck. I hope I hope that this works for you. I, I get them all. I get them all the time. Well, um, you've just uh, embarrassed us all, um, I think, because um, we, <laughs> we've been ripping them left, right and centre. Yeah. And you, you've come here with compassion and understanding. And that's why you've got 218,000 followers. Uh, I don't know. I think it's like, I don't know. I'm very humble. About no, stuff. no, no. Well, you were on Business Life Global the other day with victoria i have over two hundred eighty thousand followers 200 ah there you go yeah you see here's the thing people are um because i know friends in third world countries that that's how they're feeding their families i know them personally and everybody's just they're just out there trying to do the best they can people are still very scared about losing their jobs i mean this is all people have lost their jobs people are dealing with a lot of tragic things going on in their lives right now and that's the biggest message you can't make assumptions on this platform just because people aren't saying what's going on in their life doesn't mean they don't have a lot going on in their lives um there are a lot of people struggling with very serious things right now that is definitely true um and uh adds a different perspective to this conversation when do you so are you able rachel to do this for every message you receive yeah i i'm really gregory will tell you <laughs> i do i work very hard to respond to the messages that i get you know i just ask people to be patient with me because i am a team of one and that's a big misconception people think i have a team of like 20 people behind no <laughs> one person so um when people i do my best to respond to messages that let me say this that are appropriate <laughs> mm, right yes right. <laughs> yeah those are the ones that i respond to <laughs> Now, this is a conversation not about the serious side of social me too. So, um, uh, 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 mm -hmm. on the on the funnier side, what sort of inappropriate have you received? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I my, one of my really close friends on LinkedIn thinks I should write a book, and I'm, I'm thinking about like just just ten pages long, and like a little. We talked about it being like a little pop-up book <laughs> like, <laughs> and and him and I, I think we're gonna do it we think we're gonna i mean just sharing with you guys but um j you know here's the thing people i i'm yet to understand why people would want to be blocked from a network my size i just blocked somebody else this morning and i'm not understanding their thinking and their logic because you literally have every opportunity possible you guys know that gregory's been with me since the very beginning you know it jonathan like it makes no sense to me why you would want to be locked out of a network this size because really what happens is it becomes a domino effect and that's what people don't realize so if you get locked out of mine it means you get locked out of the other people who are there so um yeah people make their their choices they say their words and i people are like don't you feel guilty about blocking someone no i don't because if they're disrespectful to me no i don't feel guilty about it i always treat people the way i want to be treated i'm trying to set that example so if they say something i'm like okay well i wish you good luck you know i mean i for business i mean it's a chance of a lifetime <laughs> 